Hey there YouTube. First off, this video is meant to be added to a new page on my website. Under the Seismic Events drop down menu, there's going to be a new page added in a couple of days. If you are viewing this on my website, then obviously it has already been added. It is called West Thumb Yellowstone Energetic Swarms. On this new page, which I will notify you when it is up, will be about all of the rapid fire and energetic earthquake swarms that occur in and around West Thumb and Yellowstone Lakes at Yellowstone. Also, on that new page, I will show some brief info, including actual earthquake count estimates, and I will also show the seismic helicorders and seismic plots for each swarm. In total, this new page will contain the data and info of 18 energetic swarms that have struck in and around West Thumb and Yellowstone Lakes between 2014 and 2018. 2018 saw the highest count of these rapid-fire swarms. There may have been some other rapid fire swarms before 2014, however they seem to be almost non-existent prior to that year. This video here will show the seismic audio for each swarm on this page. I will add a parts section in the description box below, and also right under this video when I post it on the new page on my website. So whenever you are viewing a swarm, you can scroll up to this video and select the correct part to hear what the swarm you viewed sounded like. All of the seismic audio in this video was generated by the Iris Time Series URL Builder, link below. Please keep in mind the audio is greatly enhanced and sped up. If that was not done, it would be very hard to hear the earthquakes. For example, a 30 minute swarm will be compacted into about a minute or so of audio. Each pop and crack that you hear is an earthquake, yes. Even the small crackling that sounds like crumpling up newspaper or gift wrap, those are earthquakes as well, occurring in very rapid succession. Some of the larger earthquake swarms sound pretty cool. Just know though, it isn't super easy to generate this audio. Of course generating the audio is, but to make it sound just right, it takes me a few tries to enter the right parameters for the audio. Now I will go in order from the most recent swarm of 2018 to the last swarm of this page in 2014. December 31st, 2018 saw one of the most energetic swarms in months at Yellowstone. However, I already generated seismic audio and seismic plots to that event on a different page, so I will not include the December 31st audio in this video. Please go to the description box below and click on the link for that event, or if you are viewing this video on my website, just scroll down to the part where it says December 31st, 2018, and click the click here button. So let's start with the next swarm right after or right before December 31st actually this swarm which you are seeing right here on the size of program swarm struck on December 25th 2018 and contained about 20 earthquakes in about 12 minutes with only two of them being reported the following audio is for this swarm here please keep in mind that just because you are viewing a helicorder in the coming parts for let's say borehole 90, 944 that doesn't mean the audio came from that station I will note which station each audio clip comes from just prior. I will try to always use the closest seismic station for the audio, but that does not work out all the time, especially in the case of station H17A. For this coming audio clip, it was taken from station YLT. Now let's move on to this swarm here. It occurred on December 23rd, 2018, and contained only about 28 earthquakes within about one hour and one minute, with zero of them being reported. So it was very minor, but I am still surprised that some of these were not reported. Very surprised, actually. Again, this swarm was very minor. I know some of these swarms at first may not sound too interesting, but guess what? Some of the larger swarms, like on April 11th, 2018, later in this video, sound really, really cool. So, here's the audio to the December 23rd, 2018 swarm. This audio was taken from station YLT. Here's the swarm that occurred near West Thumb Lake at Yellowstone on December 18th, 2018. Within about 3 hours and 16 minutes, there were approximately 44 earthquakes with only 3 of them being reported. Again, this is another one of the minor swarms. However, as we go through this video right now, you will see that there are some larger ones coming, guys. Don't worry. 
Now the following audio you hear is for the swarm. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This earthquake swarm here occurred on December 14, 2018. Within about 3 hours and 12 minutes, there were approximately 85 earthquakes, with only 6 of them being reported. Again, more info is below if you are watching this on my website. The following audio is for the December 14, 2018 swarm shown here. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. Now here we have the small rapid fire swarm that occurred on October 16, 2018. Within only 4 minutes there were about 17 earthquakes with only 2 being reported, but I believe the reported earthquakes occurred just before and after the main burst in seismicity, so really I don't think any of these earthquakes in this area were reported at all. Now the following audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT and is for this swarm on October 16th, 2018. This next swarm shown here occurred on August 26th, 2018. Within 2 hours and 18 minutes, there were approximately 98 earthquakes, with only 14 being reported. The following audio is for the August 26, 2018 swarm, and this audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This minor but energetic swarm shown here occurred on August 21st, 2018. Within 41 minutes, there were approximately 37 earthquakes, with only three reported. 
The following audio is for the August 21st, 2018 Swarm, and the audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This swarm shown here occurred on both July 27th. You can see some earthquakes up here, here, here. Major, well not major earthquakes, but a lot of earthquakes right there and down here as well. Spread throughout the day, but pretty much nothing past 1 or 2 UTC on the 28th. But again, occurred both on July 27th and 28th, 2018. Over a period of about 13 hours, there were approximately 110 earthquakes. Please note, however, most of the earthquakes occurred in episodes instead of spaced out over the 13-hour time period. The first burst, which you can see right up here, the first burst of seismicity had a large time period of calm before the next main burst. You can see there was a bunch of calm right in the middle, except for a few tiny, tiny events. So in the audio, to save on time, I will cut that out so it is just the earthquakes that you are hearing. For the 13 hour time period of about 110 earthquakes, only 5 events were reported. Here is the audio for the July 27th through 28th swarm. This audio was taken from Seismic Station B944. This here is the rapid fire earthquake swarm that occurred at West Thumb Lake on July 5th, 2018. You could tell it increased, hit its peak, and decreased, and the main burst of city was right here. There are a lot, a lot of earthquakes in this swarm, guys. Again, this was for July 5th, 2018. This is one of the more interesting rapid fire earthquake swarms on this page. Within about 50 minutes or so, there were approximately 160 earthquakes, with only 12 being reported. Yeah, in less than an hour, guys. Again, if you wish to understand how I come up with the actual earthquake estimates, and you are viewing this video on my website, please read the text directly above this video. The following audio is for the July 5th, 2018 Rapid Fire Swarm at West Thumb Lake at Yellowstone. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. Check it out.
Here's the energetic earthquake swarm that struck on May 18, 2018, which was actually the 38th anniversary of the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption in Washington State. This earthquake swarm contained approximately 90 earthquakes within one hour and one minute, with only six of them being reported. The following audio you hear is for the May 18, 2018 swarm near West Thumb Lake at Yellowstone. Remember, every crack and pop that you hear is an earthquake. This audio was taken from Seismic Station B944. And turning off the spectrogram, this is what the swarm looked like right there. So, check it out. Now here is one of the most interesting earthquake swarms on this page, except for a few other ones. This earthquake swarm occurred in two episodes. You can tell right here. Here's the first episode right here, and here's the second episode down here. The first episode contained approximately 400 earthquakes, which there are probably more than 400, but those were, that was the estimate. Approximately 400 earthquakes, which includes even the tiniest unlocatable events, within 1 hour and 38 minutes. The second episode contained about 555 earthquakes of all sizes, within only 2 hours and 54 minutes. Overall, both episodes together, there were approximately 955 earthquakes, with actually 105 of them being reported, all in one day. Since there were two episodes, I will show the seismic audio to the first episode first. The following audio you hear is for the first episode of the Very Rapid Fire Swarm on April 11th, 2018 at West Thumb Lake. Audio was taken from Seismic Station H17A. So that was the first episode. Now let's hear the audio for the second episode, which is right here of the April 11th Swarm. As before, this audio was taken from Seismic Station H17A. Here it is. This earthquake swarm that you see here on the seismic program swarm occurred near West Thumb Lake at Yellowstone on February 26, 2018. You can clearly see three episodes of seismicity on this day. Since I am trying to save on time, I will only use the audio from the main burst in seismicity here, which started right about here and ended right in this area down here. The main burst in seismicity lasted around 4 hours and 3 minutes, with around 110 earthquakes and only 4 of them being reported.
This audio you are about to hear is of the main sequence of events on February 26, 2018. This audio was taken from Seismic Station B944. Here is the very energetic October 31st, 2017 Rapid Fire Earthquake Swarm near West Thumb and Yellowstone Lake. This swarm contained approximately 205 earthquakes within only 52 minutes and only 21 of them were reported. This swarm was extremely energetic and it is very reminiscent of actually the July 5th, 2018 swarm. July 5th, 2018 and October 31st, 2017 saw pretty much the same exact type of swarm. This swarm lasted 52 minutes. The July 5th event lasted only about 50 minutes, so it's pretty much the same exact time frame. However, it seems this October 31st, 2017 swarm had more earthquakes than the July 5th event. The following audio you hear is for the October 31st, 2017 earthquake swarm. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This minor earthquake swarm contained approximately 33 earthquakes of all sizes within only 14 minutes on June 6, 2017. Only seven of those earthquakes were reported. The following audio is of the June 6, 2017 earthquake swarm. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This very energetic swarm you see here occurred on November 25th, 2016. Over 670 earthquakes of all sizes occurred within 9 hours and 15 minutes. Only 53 of them were reported. The following audio is of the energetic November 25th, 2016 earthquake swarm, which actually struck near Shoshone Lake, 
just to the southwest of West Thumb Lake. This audio was taken from Seismic Station B944.
This rapid fire swarm here occurred on January 31st, 2016. Within about two hours and 26 minutes, over 430 earthquakes of all sizes were recorded by seismic stations. However, many were very tiny, but still they occurred. And I don't think something should be ignored just because it is small. Only 17 earthquakes were reported for the swarm, even though around 400 occurred. The following audio is for the January 31st, 2016 earthquake swarm. This audio was taken from seismic station B208. This small but energetic swarm here struck on July 21st, 2015 and was very peculiar. Around 30 earthquakes of all sizes occurred within only six minutes. Doesn't sound too crazy, but they were quite strong and quite closely spaced. Only four of these earthquakes were reported. The following audio is for the July 21st, 2015 earthquake swarm. Careful though, the audio may be too loud for this one, so please keep your finger on the audio button and turn your audio down right now. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YLT. This swarm shown here is the last rapid fire earthquake swarm that I could find near West Thumb and Yellowstone Lakes. There are most likely a few others prior to 2014, or at least August 16th, 2014. However, I have not found them yet. Of course, if I find more, I will add them to another page and will let you know when I do so. This swarm struck on August 16th, 2014 and contained around 110 earthquakes of all sizes within only one hour and 35 minutes. Only 10 of these earthquakes were reported. The following audio is of the August 16th, 2014 earthquake swarm. This audio was taken from Seismic Station YPP.
So I hope you guys enjoyed hearing the seismic audio of all of the rapid fire earthquake swarms for my new page on my website. I am starting to work on a few other new pages too, but they might take some time. This new page here about the earthquake swarms in and around West Thumb Lake took me almost two weeks to complete. Remember, any one of you can download Seismic Audio via the Iris Time Series database, link below. Having the ability to analyze Seismic Audio, Seismic Helicorders, Seismograms, Spectrograms, and Spectral Plots, yes, all five of those options, allows you to fully understand what is taking place beneath any given area. If you wish to know how to do this, please shoot me an email or look in the How To drop down menu on my website and many other pages on my website as well. Also, if you just want to skip all that and just request some seismic audio for any given swarm, please email me. Just know that it is hard to generate quality sounding audio for very short time periods. For example, for like one or two earthquakes and that's it within only a couple minutes. It also isn't very easy to generate the perfect audio. It took me multiple tries for multiple of these audio downloads to get it to sound just right. Sadly, only Iris supplies this seismic audio option. For swarms at like Long Valley or Lassen Peak, for example, this cannot be done because most of those stations for those areas are in the NCEDC database, not the Iris database, and NCEDC does not have a data download option, an audio data download option, excuse me. Let me know what you thought about this, and I hope you enjoy my new page. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you soon.